Alright, so with all the Eagles' defensive struggles recently, edge rusher Hassan Reddick gave us some more insight into some big changes made on defense, and he actually shockingly admitted that they've kind of caused some problems. Meanwhile, Lane Johnson is not happy because of some apparent issues during the Eagles' practices, but Jordan Mailata seems confident that those things are being fixed, as he says the vibes are high in the locker room and the birds are back to having fun this week ahead of their season finale. And him, along with Jason Kelsey and many other Eagles, made it clear that they're extremely motivated to make a potential run, and despite their struggles, they still have a huge end goal in mind. So we're going to talk about that and more news in this video today, so let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Okay, so I know this happened a couple days ago, but just to get things started, let's talk about the Eagles revealing who made the Pro Bowl, with Jason Kelsey, Hassan Reddick, DeAndre Swift, Lane Johnson, AJ Brown, and Landon Dickerson all being selected, and then many others being selected as alternates. And I must admit, I think there were quite a few snubs, starting with Jake the Make Elliott, and also Jalen Hurts, and the Hurts snub in particular doesn't make sense to me because Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford made it over him, and if you look at their numbers next to each other, there's really no contest. I mean, Stafford's passing numbers are marginally better in most categories, but aside from turnovers, Hurts blows him out of the water in most total statistical categories, most notably touchdowns, where of course Hurts set the Eagles franchise record with 38 scores on the year, while Stafford has just 24 total touchdowns, so I don't know, I personally think Hurts deserved it over Stafford, but what do you guys think? Now albeit despite some snubs, it still is really cool to see all the guys who did end up making it, as the Eagles once again had three offensive linemen selected, and all five of their starters were named as Pro Bowl starters or alternates, which is just a huge credit to Jeff Stoutland and Stoutland University. University, as this guy just turns players into Pro Bowl caliber linemen like it's nothing. I mean, he's had so many guys make the Pro Bowl in his tenure as the Eagles offensive line coach. But perhaps the most exciting selection to the Pro Bowl this year for the Eagles is running back DeAndre Swift, who's having a career season in his homecoming year with Philly, and now it, of course, has resulted in a Pro Bowl selection. But even though Swift is really honored and excited to be selected to his first Pro Bowl, he also seems to want a lot more. Being from here, being able to do it in my hometown um, for the Eagles, it means so much more. Like I said, it ain't over with yet, so... Any other questions you might got, anything like that, um, I'll be here to answer when it's, when it's all said and done. So you gotta love that mentality from Swift, and drop a like down below for the Philly kid getting his first Pro Bowl. And I feel like everyone kinda has a similar mentality to Swift in that while players getting selected to the Pro Bowl is nice, that's not what the team is focused on. I mean, look at everyone's faces when the selections were announced. They were not phased at all. They're just locked in. They know they got a lot of work to do to get things right after a rough five-game stretch heading into the playoffs, and their faces show it. And DeAndre Swift also made some comments that echo that sentiment. It's a great compliment for everybody that got um that got voted on too, but we know it's a lot of work to be done for the season. That's why, probably. I can't speak for everybody else, but uh, that's probably why. Well, plenty of other people have spoken as well, including Jason Kelsey, Landon Dickerson, and many other players, and they've all kind of echoed that same exact thing. They have a bigger goal in mind, and Hassan Reddick in particular made it known that despite the recent struggles, the Eagles still have their eye on the prize. Uh, like I said, we're trying to win the Super Bowl, so Pro Bowl is all good, um, but we want more. So like you said there, they still got bigger goals in mind, they want to win the Super Bowl. But it surely is going to be a difficult task to do that, and the Eagles got to get things rolling fast. They got to fix these issues that have become more and more evident over these last five games, and now that's no out again a tall task because we've seen these issues linger around all year and they came back to bite the birds during this past stretch but if you listen to the Eagles talk they still know that they have the talent the leadership and ultimately the right people in the locker room to end up getting these things fixed and they're motivated to do just that I mean just listen to what Jason Kelsey said here I think what fuels me going forward is trying to be better as a team and reach the potential that I think this group has um, you know we have a lot of great players continue to say a lot of great coaches we're on a, a stretch right now where we haven't played good football. And uh, I think uh, we get another opportunity to go out there this week. Another opportunity to go out there this week and, uh, you know, go prove to ourselves and, and, and go out there and have fun together. Now, I think what he said there at the end is really important. The Eagles get another opportunity this week to go out there and have fun together. And I think that's really become a point of emphasis this week as the Eagles get ready to close out the regular season. As it kind of seems like during this rough stretch, the Birds just haven't been having as much fun. And sure, of course, when you're losing games, it's easy to not have as much fun as when you're winning. I think that's pretty obvious. But I also think sometimes in order to get back to winning and to having success, you gotta have fun. You gotta enjoy it because I think oftentimes it's just easy to focus on the negative side of things. And don't get me wrong, there's been a lot of negatives with this Eagles team recently. But sometimes just getting those positive vibes back really helps. And from the sound of it, the Eagles are getting back to that. With left tackle George Jordan Mailata coming out and saying that this week the Eagles are just trying to get back to being themselves and having a good time. It's more that more of the same, um, but having a lot more fun. You know, I think we just need a. It's been it's been a, a tight couple, you know, couple weeks and uh, I'll say a month. And I think you know just getting our, our swag back and just being being comfortable. You know, we know going into this game we want to 
try and get back to, to Eagle football. Yeah. And whatever that is, you know, whatever it takes, sorry, whatever it takes, that's what we're going to do. So playing clean football, playing smart football, and going out there and executing at a high level. And that's, that's all it's going to take. That's what we, we talk about it all the time, but enough time, enough, <laughs> we've spent enough time talking, we're going to go out there and do it now. So, but the vibes are high this week, the energy's high, and um, got a good feeling this week that, that the boys are here. So if you're an Eagles fan, you gotta love that. I mean, again, with all the negativity these past several weeks, it's just nice to hear something positive for a change, and we can see it too. I mean, the Eagles social media team released this clip from practice as Fletch and BG had a nice friendly competition. So again, that's really nice to see, and just overall, it's good to hear that the Eagles are trying to have fun, and hopefully, that helps them bounce back from this rough stretch as they move towards the playoffs. Now, Mylata also revealed that they had a really high intensity and good practice on Thursday, which is great to hear, because we've heard rumblings recently that there have been some issues in practice that are showing up in games. Sidney Brown was really the first guy to comment on this, and now, Lane Johnson has also come out and revealed that he too hasn't been happy with how practices have been going as of late, so we're going to talk about that and more in just a minute, but real quick, I do want to say, if you are enjoying this video or finding it informative in any way, and you're part of that 75% of people that haven't done so already, make sure you go down right now, subscribe, and also really importantly, turn on notifications so you don't miss any more Eagles updates just like this. I think that's a win-win for the both of us. I mean, I get more people watching these videos, and you don't miss any other Eagles content just like this. And also, while you're at it, if you are enjoying the video, make sure you drop a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. Now, with that being said, let's get back into the video. So, Lane Johnson recently was on John Clark's Takeoff podcast, where he spoke about the Eagles' recent struggles struggles, and he highlighted that there have been some issues during practice that have led to in-game issues. You know, there's stuff that needs to be fixed in practice, or stuff that, you know, we're not doing well, um, and you can go back to film there, and there might be similar mistake in practice that was made in the game. It's kind of uh, put up or shut up time, so, but I, I mean, I like where our guy says that. I like that there is a disturbance in there. You kind of have the what's going on factor, and, you know, with that, it, it does raise awareness. I, it, I think it will. Uh, push people to be better versions of themselves. So again, this kind of echoes what the rookie Sidney Brown said back after the Arizona loss, which is that some bad practice habits became game day reality for them. So with a guy like Lane coming out and also saying this, it sounds like there's a lot of truth to that notion that the Eagles are having issues during practice right now. So it's definitely good to hear that practice seems to have been a lot better this week based on what Jordan Mailata said. And it was also nice to hear what Lane said there at the end, because it does sound like this team does have a real sense of urgency to turn things around. And that's exactly the kind of mentality you want from the guys amidst a rough stretch. But with that being said, where was the sense of urgency during these last five games then? I don't know. I mean, again, I feel like the Eagles can say all the right things, and I feel like I've been a lot more on the positive side in this video, but I just want to reiterate that I'm not going to really trust anything this team says until I see them go out there and actually fix the things that need to be fixed. And specifically on the defensive side of the ball, that unit has a lot of work to do. I mean, we saw the disgrace of a showing that they put out there last week against the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, there was simply no excuse for it, especially with all the talent the unit has, but we recently did get a bit more insight into what has caused some of the the defensive struggles recently, mainly in that game, with Hassan Reddick coming out and revealing that when the Eagles ended up switching from Sean Desai to Matt Patricia as the defensive coordinator, it was more than just a switch at play caller. It was a huge change and a huge adjustment for the players to make, and it really sounds like it has caused a lot of growing pains. How much of what happened Sunday had to do with changing the coordinator and him trying to new, new ideas? Uh, I think a lot of it, you know, uh, like you said, we changed coordinators, um, you know, they got a different style of different way they want things done, uh, and that's pretty much what it is. Patricia's in there now, he has a certain way that he would like for things to be done. Like I said, we've been implementing some things, getting more of what uh, Patricia wants uh, in the defense is, you know, the things that he wants done, and, you know, we're trying our best to hurry up, get everything, get everybody caught up to full speed, understanding what he wants, and um, like I said, going out there and trying to execute the ball. You have enough time to, to do that, to achieve that. You know, it's, it's hard, man. It's, 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 it's hard. It's a hard thing to do, um, you know, but it's, 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 
it's our job at the end of the day, you know, so there's no complaints about it. Um, but, yeah, it's, def it's definitely a hard thing, right? You, you spend so much time with one D.C. Uh, and, and learn, you know, a new D.C. at that at the beginning of the year and trying to learn everything that he wants us to do, his terminology, the, you know, the way that he calls things. Um, and then, you know, towards the end of the season, we switch. Uh, but like I said, at the end of the day, it must get done. So you heard what Reddick said there. The switch at DC has definitely been a massive adjustment and a hard thing for the players to actually be able to adjust to this late in the season. And I feel like it's a fair assessment to say that part of the reason the Eagles defense have struggled so much this entire year is because of a lack of continuity and changes always happening. I mean, whether it be starting the year with a new defensive coordinator or personnel changes throughout the year with so many injuries early and then also trades and then the report that Sean Desai had lost third down duties at some point in the middle of the season to then the eventual switch to Matt Patricia, I mean, I feel like all these changes really make it difficult for anybody to get comfortable or get a rhythm going. So that has to contribute to some of the struggles. But at the same time, I'm still not saying that the Eagles shouldn't have made that switch because Sean Desai was pretty bad for the most part calling plays. So again, I'm still not mad at the switch to Patricia, but it certainly does add another difficult task for the defense as they got to get fully adjusted and ready to go by the time playoffs are here after this week. And I mean, time is running out for them to get things figured out. But Darius Slay seems to think that they're going to be able to do just that. Oh, it will get right. You know, we uh, we kind of determined on that. And uh, like I said, we're looking to make a great push. You know, we're going to worry about the Giants this week, but we sure are looking for a good push in the playoffs. Well, let's hope that Slay's right and the Birds are going to be able to get it rolling on defense heading into the playoffs because they need to. Speaking of Darius Slay, both him and Devontae Smith did not practice today, so it certainly looks like they both won't be suiting up for this regular season finale versus the Giants, but it does seem like they will be both ready to go for the playoffs. And overall, the Eagles seem to be getting healthy at the right time, which is definitely, again, great as they close out this regular season and then try and make this run in the playoffs. Now we're going to be covering the Birds entire playoff run as well as of course this week and also moving into the offseason and just throughout the rest of the entire year we're going to be covering all things Philadelphia Eagles so if you're interested in that and you don't want to miss any of it make sure you subscribe and also again really importantly turn on those notifications and also while you're at it drop a like down below to help show some support and leave a comment down below just regarding anything that I talked about in this video and if you want to watch another video talking about how AJ Brown broke his media silence with this amazing press conference you can go check this out right here. Now, with all that being said, that's pretty much all I got for this one, guys. So thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.